All right, hello everybody. So um, I experimented with a few things and this is pretty much have this old envelopes from Christmas cards. And I created an envelope and also a five by seven card um, that I can use it as a card. So I did the same thing with this and my camera stopped working apparently in the middle of it because I ran out of memory. So we're ready to do this one more time. It's gonna be a little bit different, but pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint two things side by side. Now for the envelopes, um, this is not made to be painted on because these are uh, not envelopes to do watercolor on them. But I will do it anyways. So the only thing I need to do is use, I'm going to use very little bit of water on this and I can use as much water as I want on this. So we are going to create a um, peacock feather. So the last time I did the feather, pretty much it looked like this is the front of a card. So this time what I'm gonna do is, I'll just create it on the side so I can use maybe this area to write or vice versa, whatever, uh, you know, you can do it, whatever you want. I'm going to do it on this side, left handed is just comes easy and slightly I'm going to tilt it towards the corner. Now this part of the feather is almost like an egg shape and that's what I'm going to do. Now, you don't have to sketch it, you can just start going and doing that uh, part. Same thing I'm gonna do for the center. The center has a little kick in the middle, the eye, and then a few rings around this part. Now, for the previous feather, I was using the Van Gogh paints, but i mixing the blues that were given to me with the greens or the yellows. I couldn't really create the color I wanted. So I'm going to use also of uh, um, this guy's and the um, tallow blue is what I want to have in my feather um, because it's bright, it looks like a lot of fun so there is the eye of the feather the rest you can swirl it around or you can make it straight you can make those parts a little bit whimsical it doesn't matter um, you can do whatever you want um, so I'm gonna use the gum eraser and I'm gonna run this down and before we start this one project, don't forget to click that notification button and subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and let's begin. So there is my slight, slight shape. I know my card is five by seven, so I'm gonna stay in here. The first thing I'm going to do is start with my lighter colors. Now I'm not watering any parts on the middle and I'm going to do a, a little bit of red with my cadmium yellow which is already an orange and a little tiny water so it actually moves around and I'm going to get this part. This part was supposed to be blue. Wow, okay. Not paying attention. So no big deal. I'm going to rub this out and take away. So I guess talking sometimes does not help. Um, so I'm going to go in with that really nice um, tallow blue and I am going to go in here and get that blue in. You see, even if you do a slight tiny boo-boo, it's still okay. So I washed my brush 
and I added the color around and then I'm going just to squish it so I'm giving a little bit more of a wash on that area so it looks really really nice and let's do the next part that it's like the orangey yellow which is right here and I'm gonna do the same thing I am going and I paint I'm painting it very different than the previous one but that's pretty much what happens every time you paint something it comes out a little bit different and you're just having fun with it so I'm gonna go around and bring this down here move the color really close to that side wipe my brush not wash it and gently get to pick that color and create a little spot here that looks like hot spot there is a lighter version of that color so I just leave it alone now I'm not gonna go yet on the outside of this area I'm just gonna let this dry a little bit but I'm gonna go with the blue bluish green Take a little bit of that green, beautiful blue, and I'm going to give almost like a wash right here. And I'm going to go around and I'll wisp it on the side, just like, just like this. So it's super, super transparent turn it around I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna do the same thing on this side very close to that center but leaving it leaving it dry and there let's get a little more color So this is my base in a way. So I still can wisp around my brush pushing and lifting away when I'm getting away from the feather. It looks so, so cool. And a little messy on the top. Go in. And this is going to be that. Um, I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to move on to this little guy. Now when I'm on the envelope, I don't want to use a lot of water. So I'm going to use a little bit of the color and swoosh it around. So if you see the difference, wipe my brush and just run my brush in a circle and kind of blend it in. Let's see if I take just pure color here. Let's just add a little bit of strength to that color. Okay. Washed my brush so I can soften that edge. to the orange, orangey yellow, and create that part, big shape on the top, black, that area is going to have a little bit of a green, get down, using the tip of the brush, Washing my brush and drying it, so it's not there is no wet. I dried it on top of blue, so we don't want that. And I'll just create a little bit of a highlight. Okay, I need a napkin, so let's get rid of 
that. And then I'm going to use that green, a little bit of that blue, and create, try to create that. So we have to make sure it's not really, really wet because that paper is different. And you can already see how this is so different. Okay, so that was that. So do you see how that is so different? I cannot make it as light as this. Um, and I cannot really touch anything here. So that's okay. It's all good. So I'm gonna take my glue and take away most of it. of a white area if I can. As long as there's parts that are white, we're good. And let's bring this a little closer to See how this green stands out a lot. No worries. We are going to balance that by just adding a little bit of the green around. We're going to do the same with the blue. That's the blue we want.
wash my brush a little bit and I'm going to push down on the brush a lot right here. I'll show you. And then I will position myself. So I'm going to do it this way. And then I'll pull out. I'll pull out. So I need a little bit of a stronger color. a comfortable side and a not so comfortable side. Now if you have a golden uh, marker and you could go around and you add a little bit of that golden around. That's going to be so, so cool. So if you do have that, just add a few lines. super super perfect to the glue with a dryer brush. This paper is so different. go to my orange and this is where you can add the gold <clears throat> so I'm gonna add a little darker orange and I'm gonna just get some of that orange in here Just a few little lines, kind of sporadical. You can even add a few dots, it doesn't have to be full lines. And this is pretty much it. So the only thing that's left for me is to sign this. another um, card that you can use and we use paper that it's definitely not a watercolor paper it still works you can see the difference between the papers perfectly but this is still pretty pretty cool so um, for me to send this I have to make sure that maybe I'm gonna spray this with um, some coating so it's not going to spread around or send it when it's not rainy and snowy all right well i hope you enjoyed this if you did give us thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and we hope to see you soon bye